hi guys it's me delicious delights how are you guys doing hopefully well today's review is going to be from the house of dior and it's called oud ispahan this cute cute little mini bottle i can't even it's so cute it's like this 7.5 milliliter bottle but it's so cute it looks like the regular ones that they sell in the regular size but yeah i'm a sucker for these bottles it's just so simple minimalistic i just think they're really nice Okay, so what does it smell like? I just put it on my skin here. <laughs> the opening is really, really strong and intense and it kind of just punches you in the face just right upon first sniff. It is a harsh animalic boot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> quite memorable, quite shocking actually. But soon after, after that, that goes away and it dries down, there is something else that happens. There's this beautiful underlying something that takes over this harsh opening. And what takes over is this gorgeous, silky, smooth vanilla rose. And it's awesome. It's so smooth. Like, I can't even emphasize how smooth it is. It just feels like a smooth, silky rose. It's gorgeous, you guys. Um, on my skin, after it dries down further, it becomes slightly powdery. There's a beautiful sweetness that emerges. The vanilla rose combo is still there on my skin, but it just softens up like a lot. <laughs> it's a big, big contrast from the opening up until, you know, the dry down. It's just, it starts off so, so strong and kind of like some people I think would want to scrub it off, but it just develops beautifully on my skin into that beautiful rose oud. And I, and I know that rose oud has been done to death, but I think in this particular fragrance, it's been done really, really, really well. There is like a small touch of earthiness on my skin with this fragrance and the oud in here is a little bit sour, but it doesn't, it's not like off-putting or anything. Also, I get like a small hint of tobacco. So this is like a very complicated fragrance. There's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of development and it's a very, very interesting fragrance. Performance, super, super strong. Fantastic performance, both in projection and in longevity. I like the fragrance, you guys. I don't love it. I do like it a lot though. I can appreciate it for what it is, but honestly, as for wearability, I don't think that I can see myself wearing this fragrance often. It's just a little bit, there's just something about it. You know, it's a statement fragrance. So I wouldn't be in the mood to be always making a statement with my fragrance every day, you know? Probably just for special occasions or something like that, but I, like if I ever own this bottle, I probably use it like once a month or something. So it wouldn't be worth it for me to own a bottle. But I think that how this fragrance was made, how this fragrance develops on my skin, it just feels like very expensive, very great quality and um, probably worth it for your money if you are looking for one of those really memorable rose oud combos. Like, there's such a sea of them out there, and this one definitely is one to try. Yeah, so that would be my review on Dior Oud Ispan. It's a short review, I know. I'm trying to, like, keep these videos, like, within five minutes or so, just so that I don't, I don't take up too much of your time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be back with more videos soon. See you guys. Bye.